In this um, tutorial lecture, we're going to be setting up IP addresses for the Windows Server in preparation for the domain controller. So um, we're going to set up a private IP, by the way. And what is a private IP? Funny you should ask. Funny you should ask that. Um, private IP is so you have three um, three ranges, right? And private IP ranges are ten network, the ten. 172192 network. Most of your home routers are private have a private IP. They're like a 192. Dot blah 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 dot blah blah dot blah, blah blah. So that's um so who who actually came up with that? The IANA, a um Internet Assigned Numbers Authority, authority actually um came up with that a number of years ago and they decided these are their private IPs. Um, we're not going to do IP version 6 because that's just another another deal, but do an IP version 4. We're going to use a 10 network actually. That means for my whole network, I can use anything from 10.0.0.0 through 10.5.5.5.5 or 255.2. Yeah, so that, what it looks like is this. If you have like a 10 and look, these are all zeros. These are like especially uh, essentially eight bits, right? Or eight, eight zeros, right? So eight zeros, eight zeros, eight zeros. Um, and over here you have a ten dot uh, eight ones, eight ones, eight ones, right? That's all they are. It's just bits. So this just represents uh, one bit on every eight. Oh, sorry. This from this represents a one on every bit. So there's eight bits. So there's what four octets? One, two, three, four. Uh, eight bits here, eight bits here, eight bits here, eight bits here. Um, so we're going to use some I don't know ten dot ten dot I don't know. Let's go ten dot ten dot one dot one dot one. Right? We'll do that. That's good. Okay. So back to our server here. First things first. This is going to be a pain in the butt. I know what you guys are meaning. Um, you probably have not experienced this yet, but if you go on the internet with your server, it's going to throw this like, you know, warning, warning, whatever, right? Error. So in order to turn that off, this is what it is, the IE enhanced security configuration. Just do yourself a favor and turn it off. Truth be told, just, just turn it off. I mean, really, that won't prompt you there anymore. It's just because you have to add the URL and all that. I mean, it's development environment, you know. What are you gonna do? Anyway, so that's that. Second thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna change the host name actually uh, before we do anything else. See the host name right here? Yeah. Before I install anything or set IPs up, I'm gonna change the host name. So how do you do that? You can. It's been a while. No. Okay. So I'm gonna do it the old-fashioned way, the way I know how. I'm gonna go to Start menu, right click on this PC, go to properties, go to, oh, right here, computer name, we're going to change setting. So this is the server name we wanted, right? The Windows Active 12. Okay, so we're just going to change, click change here, and we'll do uh, Windows, Windows. Okay, that sounds good. So, push OK on that one because once you you know read the boot of the machine actually after you do that. So we're gonna reboot it. And yep, yep, changes to take effect. So you see this right here. It says, "Hey, computer name will change to blah blah, blah after restarting," meaning Windows Active 12 after restarting. Uh, I apologize for anyone who's reading this or uh, listening to this, rather reading the subtext uh, and the subtext that are translating <laughs> me says blah blah blah. So I apologize for that uh, in 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 advance. At any rate, uh, we're gonna restart now. Okay, so let's uh, let's do. Send so all control delete to this machine here and we'll log in. We're just going to take a look at um, the host name real quick here. Now 
after everything comes up nice and neat. I'm just going to right click, we're going to go properties, and yep, we go, there we go, good, good to go, good to go. Um, what do we do? Oh, right, the next thing we need to do is set the IP address. Uh, I only have one network card, interface card, so we we'll just do that. We're going to we're going to change um, adapter settings. We're going to name it actually. You can name your adapters, which is nice. Change adapter settings. Right click on it. Right click on it. Rename it to active. What is the domain going Let's. What domain are we going to name it to? Let's call this. Um, let's call this. Um, CV Lab. How about that? You know, we'll call it CV Lab, Commvault Lab, right? So that's our domain name. There you go. CV Lab dot local, right? So yeah. Okay. So our network network connection is um, set, right? So let's let's view what it looks like to everybody else. Let's go network and sharing center. Yep. Here we go. Okay. So the network connection type or name, right, is called um, CV Lab. So let's set the IP now. We'll double click on that guy. We'll go properties, and we'll turn off first. We'll turn off IP version six. Just disable that, and we'll go click on IP version four. Click on properties, and the network, the IP, I think we said was ten. Um, we're going to be 10.1.1.1, right? That's the IP address of this. We're not going to have very many hosts connecting to this. What happened? Sorry. Apologize. Click that. Okay, here we go. Sorry. Anyway, uh, we're not going to have very many hosts connect to this, so we're going to... 255 255 255 255 255 okay um the gateway we're going to just name it 10.1.1. um network would be 0 by the way so let's let's call this you know what? Actually, let's do this. Let's call that one. We'll call the, the IP address two. So the gateway is one. The IP address is two. And the name server we're going to use for this, we're going to do Google's name server. Yeah, 8.8.8.8. So, uh, yep, good to go. So that's all it is. Um, Sub the mask has been continuous. Please enter. What happened? What did I do? Oh, two five five, right there. Okay, good. Yep. Okay. So that's it. So that's how to set up the IP address on a Windows server. Thanks for viewing this tutorial. If you like this video and you want to see more, please jump on to my course, which is I have two courses. One is at Get a Job nit.teachable.com and the other course is on Udemy. It's learn backup and restore with Commvault get a high paying job. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just type in Gary McNeely or Commvault Whisperer. There's some good content there related to this. If you would, could you click on the subscribe button and click on notifications. Thank you very much.